Today we'll be looking at Anne Bradstreet, America's first published female poet. Anne Bradstreet was born Anne Dudley in 1612. Her father was a steward for the Earl of Lincoln and a Puritan leader. Now she did not attend school, but she did have private tutors and access to her father's library. Her father also played an active role in teaching her, helping her pursue things about which she was curious. So for a woman in that time period, she was very well educated. And at age 16, Anne marries Simon Bradstreet. In 1630, she sailed to America with her family as part of the great migration of Puritans. Now her father served as governor of Massachusetts Bay Colony off and on from about 1634 to 1650. Her husband was also governor from around 1679 to 1686, and he traveled a lot, so she was often alone. Now, her trip aboard the Arabella was a rough one. Bad weather and disease caused a number of passengers to die as she was coming to America. She was only 18 years of age. She was unprepared for this kind of hardship and tra tragedy, and when she got to Massachusetts, living conditions were equally harsh and challenging. And as she married and then had Bradstreet's children, she had eight children, so there was a lot to do. Now, her brother-in-law, the Reverend John Woodbridge, carried a collection of some of her poems with him back to England without her knowledge. He had copied them when she wasn't looking. He published this collection in 1650 without her approval in an attempt to show that a godly and educated woman could elevate the position held by just a wife and mother without necessarily placing her in competition with men. She added poems and edited a second edition once it seemed everybody was okay with her publishing, which made her also one of the world's first feminist authors. Now, although Anne Bradstreet survived many difficulties, they also caused her to turn inward and toward religion to cope. She wrote poetry mostly when her husband was absent on business, and she typically wrote using religious, historical, and domestic themes that she was aware of. Her poems reflect a mixture of intellect, strength, and a woman comfortable with her lower position in Puritan society. Now, some of her final poems expressed her belief in the worth and ability of women, a topic that was very controversial in her culture. Now, Anne suffered a number of personal hardships and illnesses in her life. First, her house burned down, costing her family all of its worldly possessions. You'll see this in one of her more famous poems. She also suffered with smallpox twice. She did have tuberculosis, and this is what eventually kills her in 1672. Now, her actual burial site is unknown. As you can see in the picture, this is a memorial marker set in North Andover, Massachusetts in 2000, where it's believed she may have been buried. So talking about her poetry, in 1678, her self-revised book, Several Poems Compiled with Great Variety of Wit and Learning, was posthumously published in America, including one of her most famous poems, To My Dear and Loving Husband. She had not meant for it to be published and made public, however. Well, thank you so much for stopping by to learn about Anne Bradstreet. If you liked what you saw here, please leave a comment and tell me what other videos I can make. And as always, I'd love it if you subscribed.